Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Armored Brigade. It's important to stress that what you're looking at here is a preview build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. On top of that, I just got my press key, so this is going to be more of a first impressions video. With a game like this, though, you're going to need a lot of time to get good at it. Uh, based on my brief playtime with it, I just got my copy today, it's... A less flashy version of Steel Division Normandy 44 and games from the war game series like Red Dragon, in the sense that it's a top-down RTS military-style strategy game. But if you were to zoom in on these units, you don't see very detailed units. You just see a basic tank or what have you. But don't let the art fool you, because like Steel Division Normandy 44 and games from the war game series you've got a lot of different units you've got factions and it's up to you to figure out okay how do i use these units and their strengths to my advantage what are they weak against what about the terrain uh line of sight different things like that so this is a game that yes you could probably jump into it and figure stuff out like i did off camera just now but it's going to take you a while to master. So don't go into this video expecting me to show you the proper way to play. Because I don't know how to play it. There is a game guide button here. You can click on that and learn about different things. There's also an out of game manual that you can read. I didn't read it. I, I just, I'll be honest, I don't have the time. I have five other games that I have to get to, and I'm limited in the time that I can spend on each game, and it's unfortunate. But I can at least show you what I know and some of the features, and if you like it, you can buy the game for yourself. Now, I didn't see a Steam store page for this. Uh, the press email that I got that contained my press key uh, contained a download link from their official website, so I believe you can just go to their official website, buy the game from there. I'll put a link in the below description for you so you can check it out after you're done here. There is also a database editor, so if you're all about editing those numbers, you can do that. For example, under the Factions tab, on the very top, there's like defaults, eras, factions, formations, flights, units, aircraft, weapons, ammunition. Under Factions, you can see the different factions in the game, and it looks like you might even be able to create your own factions, which is kind of cool, um, but I wouldn't know the first thing about doing any of that. U.S. Army, for example, you can see the different date ranges and how that might affect the numbers. Like, there's a number here for artillery, ammo per gun, and... Well, that number doesn't change, but it says artillery H e percent whatever that is uh, you can see that changing depending on the date range that i select so yeah um different factions to play around with lots of different numbers here's all the different aircraft in the game a10s all the way down to looks like there's 116 types of aircraft the mi-24w don't ask me what that is i couldn't tell you but yeah it's there migs jaguars phantoms under units, you got pillboxes, uh, mech infantry, Jaeger squad. Obviously, those are German are uh, German squads of some type. Uh, wow, there's a total of 690 different units with different sets of numbers, weapons, assault rifles, air-to-air -air missiles, anti-aircraft missiles. So, like I said, lots of numbers, lots of things to get used to. So, if you're easily intimidated, don't feel bad. It's going to take you some time to get used to the game. Again, if you've played Steel Division Normandy 44, then you'll understand that there is a learning curve associated with stuff like this. So, um, options menu, just real quick. Game, there's tutorial mode, frame rate, scroll speed, uh, autosave interval, graphics, there's no screen resolution setting here, but out of game, before the game launches, you're given a pop-up box, and you can adjust some settings from there as well. And there is a multitude of different screen resolutions, so you don't have to worry about that. This is 1920 by 1080. Audio, master music, and some other sliders. I do have the music off for the sake of the commentary and the prevent copyright issues. Under new game, there's single mission and generate mission. Under single... You can see that there's a number of different missions that you can choose. And my advice to you as a casual gamer and as someone that is new to this, pick 
When you go to pick a side, on the very bottom, you can customize your launch options. Give yourself extra training and extra morale here so that you just have an advantage over your opponent until you get used to things, then you can tone it down. You can also uh, enable or disable the round length. You can also assign a player character to a particular unit, and if you die, then the scenario ends. So it, it's sort of like a, a special commander unit that you want to keep alive, sort of like in Supreme Commander. Um, hit show hidden in AAR. Uh, if the option is enabled, you'll see all the enemies hidden smoke in the AAR phase. Uh, there's different phases whenever you go into this too. Like there's a setup phase and, and so on. But yeah, let's just go ahead and hit play. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into the details. My, my goal here is just to show you around a little bit, see if it's something that you'd want to purchase and figure out for yourself. Because again, like I said, this is, there's a learning curve. So upper left-hand corner, you've got a menu. You've also got this little keyboard icon. Basically, it shows you the different keyboard commands. I don't have this committed to memory, so yeah, we'll just, we'll just, yeah, there's a lot here. Um, question mark for help. And on the right side, this is where the enemy is coming from. Left side is where my units are. Um, upper right-hand corner, you can click on, like, build. And if you have the ability, you can build minefields, anti-tank, wire, I don't think I have that ability here. Uh, TRP, this is where you're setting your artillery area of effect. I, I, again, I'm, I'm, I don't know the proper terms, but like I know that during a phase you assign them, and then during the match, as long as it's within the circle, you can fire artillery in those places. So um, you're going to be doing that at some point during these setup phases. I'm just going to um, hit start. I'm sure there's other things I could be doing, but again, I don't know the game well enough to do that. So it's asking me to actually set this now. Um, so where would they be coming from? More than likely uh, from this area. So I'm just going to maybe do this. That's one. And then maybe make the second one, say, here. Okay. And okay, so we're good there. And on the upper right-hand corner, we can pause the game. There's slow, fast. You can see the weather. OOB, um, order of battle. Briefing tells you what you need to do. This scenario demonstrates no-go zones, which are these red areas here. Very bottom right, line of sight. Um, so you can click on, say, line of sight, and you can choose an area on the battlefield. And now you can see what this unit can see. Uh, the dark areas they can't see, the light areas they can see. Um, and if you want to see what, say, this person... Let's say that there's a unit here, you click on that, and now you can see what they see. So you can easily see line of sight from these different vantages. Pretty cool. Uh, that might help you when you're moving units around. Um, isometric view. So you can, again, less, less flashy version of other RTS games of this type. But if you're more into the numbers than you are the graphics, then you may still want to look at this. So I'm going to click on a unit, left click, and then have them move somewhere. So maybe I might set them up in a row over here. Again, I don't know the right way to do it. I can, when I right click to move them, however, a number of different options come up. You've got advance, contact, scout, fast, reverse, rotate, defend, unload, set range. Uh, I'm just going to hit advance and then uh, left click here. And I can also left click again to, so I'm setting waypoints and I can hit right click when I'm done. It, it, the movement takes some getting used to because in a typical RTS, it's left click to select and right click to move. It's a little different here, um, but we'll make them. So basically I'm just putting these APCs, um, yeah, here, maybe just in a row. I don't want to, I don't want to put them too close together because artillery might mess me up. So maybe I'll put this guy down here. Okay. And these are APCs. Uh, maybe I'll move them up here. Uh, maybe I'll move that one. And usually they, they, have, they set a path to follow. Uh, like, sometimes they'll go on roads or something like that, so you don't have to worry about them. I mean, this game is fairly automated if you let it. So it's not like... 
Uh, it's not like you have to micromanage everything if you don't want to, although obviously the game would probably be more on your more on your side like the battle results would be more on your side if you took direct control of everything and micromanaged appropriately whereas someone like me that doesn't know what they're doing um you can get by by just letting things happen all right did i move okay let's just hit resume something's happening i hear brrr. All right, let's hit fast. On the very top, I do have this um, show progress strength enabled. Normally, this is disabled by default. Um, but this tells you, like, how well you're doing versus the computer or your opponent, I should say. So um, you normally wouldn't see this. But for me, this is helpful to see what I'm doing and how I'm doing. It's one of the options that you can enable whenever you're... you're setting things up. Alright, now this blue line means I've got the target in sight and I'm about to shoot. Yeah, like I said, not very flashy. It's just a green little pixel. It's hard to see it, but... Oh, you missed. What's up with that? Shoot again. I think I got him. He's still alive, though. All right, keep shooting. All right, as far as artillery, um, I can click on the bottom left-hand corner for artillery. Um, I can click on new mission and set target. So, but it takes time to actually aim. So I have to sort of plan ahead and think about, like, they're may, they may be converging on this location here, maybe. I don't know, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just hope for the best. Same thing with this. I'm going to set an artillery of maybe, if they go along this road, maybe I'll set that there. Fire at my command. Okay. Um, I think I actually enabled the target too soon. There's this fire at my command button that might be better for me to do. Otherwise, as soon as the time runs out, they'll just automatically shoot at that location. Are you going to shoot or not? All right, let's... You advance there. Looks like I got one of them. How are we doing down here? Now, you can also give individual orders down on the bottom left. There's orders like pop smoke or reattach. There's also SOP, pathfind, short, quick, or cover. So as they're moving from one location to the next, you can choose how they go about doing so. Shortest route more than likely is like roads or just in a straight line. Uh, cover, they'll probably take the longer way to get to their destination, but we'll maintain cover. Soft target range, hard target range, rate of fire. So there is, there is, you know, you can set those as well. And it looks like I'm actually firing for effect here. Hopefully I'll hit something. down here. Okay, they're not in range there yet. Looks like they're retreating.
Oh, got something down here. Didn't even see that. Well, we guessed right with the artillery, but we're not hitting anything, unfortunately. Let's try... Can we set volleys? Yeah, let's do five with... We'd have to maybe redo this. Alright, we'll just fire. Keep, keep shooting. Maybe they'll hit something. Maybe they'll get lucky. Alright, down here. Okay, it looks like our... APCs are moving up and doing some damage. Alright, these things... Did I not move them? Alright, well let's fix that. Let's have this guy advance here, if he's not doing that already. We'll advance this tank down here. This tank here in case anything comes through these trees. And again, I'm trying to split them up a little bit in case there is uh, artillery. We'll advance that one here. So it looks like these guys are exchanging fire, but no damage is being done. I'm guessing because of the ammo type being used. These APCs more than likely would be better against uh, actual infantry. Alright, yeah, we need... Keep, keep, keep shooting. This, arti this is perfect, artillery. Just keep shooting. You're bound to hit something. Come on, artillery, you got this. How could you not hit a target? Come on, come on. Let's speed that. There we go. I'm not sure if it's actually doing any damage, but... Rifle squad, oh yeah, they're not going to survive long against these APCs. Now this... Alright, let's maybe move this one up. I, I hate to lose the cover of these trees. Let's see if they could... Let's see what their line of sight is. I'm curious. Okay, see their line of sight is pretty bad. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe move them... Here. Alright, you advance... Here, this one, advance, there, and then this one, move up there. We're taking a, a beating up here for sure. Alright, artillery, let's just uh, fire both again. Maybe we'll hit something. And again, if we want to move this box, it's going to take some time to do so. It's like a minute or something like that.
Oh, it looks like they will move and shoot at the same time, which is convenient. I'm assuming they take some sort of accuracy penalty. Oh, nice! Mech infantry for the win. Alright, let's see what their line of sight is now. See, that's terrible. Alright, let's move them... Let's try here. Note the time. I'm assuming that's how long it takes for the order to be received and carried out. I'm assuming. The scout team's taking a beating. How are we doing down here? Well, it looks like we're holding ground over here. Uh, we did take some casualties on our side. It looks like they're actually going up the middle. Something I wasn't planning on. Well, that red bar on the top is actually going down, so that's good for me. Okay, so that timer is now gone. So that, that little white timer that you saw is the time it takes for them to receive the order, and then they go and carry it out after that. Let's see what their line of sight would look like. It's a little bit better. Let's hope that they can actually see in this tree line. Well, since these are just infantry squads, um, rifle squads, I'm thinking it'd be safe to bring this tank. Actually, you know what? Let's su let's support down here, because there are a bunch coming up the middle. Let's move this tank, say, here to help out. All right, we may have to redo our targeting here for the artillery. Let's go ahead and set that. Um, set target. But here instead. And something more like here. And you can see the adjustment is going to take about a minute 25, so we can't shoot right away. Oh, he's got a flamethrower tank, huh? Well... Yeah, how do you like that? We've got two tanks. As soon as they move through this tree line, these two tanks here and this one here will just unloash, unlead, uh, un unload or unleash. Pick a word there, Vince. There you go. Yep, so as soon as they come through here, the line of sight there. Um, line of sight here. Yep, so it's sort of like... A trap. As soon as they come through this tree line here, I'm just going to wail on them. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. Alright, let's, um, let's advance this squad here. And this mech infantry squad, um, maybe we'll move them... Just to prepare for this assault coming up, so maybe we'll move them in, in further into the tree line here. So we can deal with this threat. It's going to take two minutes for that order. And I believe that the amount of time it takes for an order to be received depends on the very bottom left that says HQ contact. I don't know what specifically affects that number. 
but I've, I'm guessing it has something to do with maybe the unit type or maybe how far they are from base. I, I, I'm guessing at this point. Well, it looks like my tank is... Uh... Oh, there's two. Okay, we got to be careful here. Oh, tank down, tank down. This squad's going to be difficult to deal with. Alright, what we may want to do um, is relocate... Let's see, if we set... To, huh. No spotter. Hmm. Oh, right now I guess it's firing for effect. I might want to cancel this one down here, maybe move it here, because there's a lot of units here. Well, this little pincer here definitely worked. It took a lot of damage. Now, once we clear these guys out, we could maybe move these tanks up and flank. We'll see. set target um yeah we want to if we can concentrate on th these two areas that would be awesome it's gonna take some time but all right flamethrower tank isn't taking any damage but I'm hoping our, our tanks here can wipe them out. Rear hall weak point. Nice. Still no damage. Those tanks are taking a beating and they're still coming. Oh, we got the one. We got the one tank. That's down. Alright, other one's down. Good. Alright, these guys are advancing. Now here's the thing, we have our mech infantry moving, but they're going to get slaughtered probably from this tank. Just have to hope that they're okay. We do have some mortars here, I'm wondering if we should maybe move them... Yeah, let's have them move... up there. Closer to the action. I don't know what their range is, honestly. That's one thing I haven't been able to find yet, is like if, if I click a button and see like a circle what their range is. That's something that Steel Division Normandy 44 I could see, but I don't seem to have that ability here. At least I don't know how to activate it. Gonna speed things up now. We're either gonna win or we're not. Oh, my tanks are getting wiped out.
All right, let's check our uh, artillery real quick. Oh, I wonder if the... I wonder if the shots actually come from the mortars. I wonder if that's where we're getting our artillery from. That's a thought. I just thought about that now. Well, here's a light mortar here. Uh, it looks like he's attacking me with artillery. Let's m let's move that up a little bit. Wow, my mech infantry is doing pretty well, all things considered. All right, let's see if artillery is now possible. Uh, set target out of HE. Okay. Set target. Out of HE. I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh man, this mech infantry is getting oh slaughtered. Poor guy. It's hard to tell if if I'm winning or losing at this point, but that's a okay. So maybe we need we want to bring our uh, heavy hitter. Let's advance down here. Yeah, I have a feeling he's going to win this, but mainly because I'm, I'm, I, it's possible I could have won if I knew more about the units and what I was doing. But like I said, this, there's a learning curve associated with this, and it takes some time to get used to everything. Oh, artillery, maybe we should move them. Come on, mech infantry, do your thing. Well, looks like we might have gotten him. No, oh, these poor guys. Oh, we're getting slaughtered down here. All right. Well, I had I had a, a chance, lost it when these guys came through. I think the game was over when I lost my tanks. They were definitely my breadwinners for a while, but then something took them out. I'm not sure what. I'm sure if I look in this log up here, it'll tell me what that is. Yeah. Alright, well anyway, 
Hopefully this gives you a good taste as to what you're in for should you decide to pick this up. Again, I'll put a link in the below description um, that'll give you access to the official website and you can take it from there. This is Vince. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.